Hello. Today we are marking 47 years since we lost Elvis Presley, August the 16th, 1977. I knew I wanted to do a video uh, remembering him, celebrating him, and I wasn't sure what to do. There was a lot of videos online, whether it was just another performance, um, we found a video that was the funeral procession and it had three songs that played over the top that were like tributes to Elvis which seemed like a good idea at the time and then I took a look at it and it didn't seem right that we were not seeing any footage of Elvis within that so I wasn't sure what to do somebody in the comments did send me a couple of links to videos that were to do with it was news footage, news coverage of Elvis's passing, the announcement of his death. And I was still kind of struggling with that in terms of I didn't really want to go with news stories and the sort of sensationalism of it all. That being said, there is a video. I'm not sure if it's one of the ones that I've been sent or it's one I found by myself. It was added to my list as it came in and it starts off with some news footage, some radio footage, radio sound bites and it's a little bit jarring at first I should warn you just the kind of news flash music and things like that but I haven't watched it all but I know looking at the title um, it does eventually segue into an American trilogy so I've just seen the beginning uh, with some news footage and I think there were a couple of interviews with people sort of mourning his loss but then I haven't gone any further because I did kind of want to again wanted to watch it for the first time here on camera so that's what we're going to do the funeral itself was only two days later I discovered I didn't realize that on August the 18th 1977 and there was a motorcade of 14 white Cadillacs that followed the hearse and from what I did see of the footage those streets were completely filled with people um, all the way from Graceland leading up to the Forest Hill Cemetery so I am hoping that this video is a suitable mark of remembrance for him on this day I think I'll stop talking now and let the video say what it needs to say so here we go, we're going to jump back to that day, 47 years ago today, and then at least we should have a performance. I'm not sure if it's actually video performance of him singing or it's just in the background of the video. So, um, yeah, um, nervous already. Uh, let's go. Let's just watch it. CBS News, Elvis Presley, the king of popular music, is dead at the age of 42. The undisputed king of rock and roll, Elvis Presley, is dead. He died this afternoon here in his adopted hometown of Memphis after apparently collapsing at his South Memphis mansion. And the mayor has ordered all flags in the city to be flown at half staff. This is Channel 7's Eyewitness News, tonight with Fahey Flynn, Joel Daly, Bill Frank, Steve Edwards, and a special report by Jay Levine. Elvis Presley is dead at 42, possibly of a heart attack, an autopsy reveals tonight. Memphis, Tennessee is in mourning. Tonight, thousands of fans are reported gathered around this palatial thousands mansion. Of... The Memphis Telephone Company reports total overtaxing of its lines. Pandemonium has broken out here on Elvis Presley Boulevard in Memphis. Thousands of fans from all over the country are converging on Graceland, trying to get in to view the body of the 42-year-old king like of rock and something. roll. The world is shocked by Elvis Presley's sudden death after attempts to save his life failed. The apparent cause, according to his personal physician, Dr. George Nicopoulos, is a heart attack. The singer's father, Vernon Presley, has requested that an autopsy be performed. Why, did, why go to all this trouble? Because we love Elvis. We still do. You're not going to get in, you know. Doesn't make any difference. There's nobody else like him. There won't ever be anybody else like him, as far as I'm concerned. I just can't believe he's dead. It's terrible. Elvis Presley was the first. 
and probably the foremost in popular music. But tonight on Radio Luxembourg, we have to inform the world that he no longer exists on our planet. Tonight on Luxembourg, we feature nothing but Elvis till closed down at quarter to four. Presley's show business friends, as well as his legions of fans, are mourning tonight. Sammy Davis Jr. was asked how the performer would rate on a scale of one to ten. Well, he's got to be 11, babe. And I'm not saying that because of the, the tragedy at the moment, but because anybody in this business of ours that can become one of a kind, he's the, the one, the only, the original. Everybody else is an imitator. It came after him. Elvis Presley almost single-handedly turned rock into the most popular music expression of the young. Tonight in Memphis, Elvis died, and a generation of people cared. It's 629, it's WMAQ Still Chicago. Good. I'm Dennis Day with Rick Elliott and uh, Jay Marks. I'll say it one more time, as much as it hurts, Elvis Presley died today. There are many uh, superlatives linked with his name, the greatest and the king. Um, but probably the most important thing is that each person listening, and all of us here, uh, that Elvis had an effect, an important effect, on each one of our lives. And what more can you say about it? an individual? He'll be remembered for many, many years. But you remember when President Definitely. Kennedy yes. died? Years later, people said, do you remember where you were when you first heard the news that Kennedy was dead? Remember where you are now. Because if you're feeling like me in a deep state of shock, then in a few years from now, you will remember that you were listening to the first radio station in Europe to ever play Radio Luxembourg's number one star, Elvis Presley. Oh, I wish I was in a land of cotton. Old times are not forgotten. Look away, look away, look away, Dixieland. Sing it, fellas. Dixieland, that's where I was born. Early Lord, one frosty morn. Look away, look away, look away, Dixieland.
think that was a beautiful tribute. Um, so if you did send that to me, thank you. Uh, wow. It's a mix of emotions because you had the, the funeral march and then you had this amazingly triumphant song uh, so powerfully performed over the top. And just for them to cut to that footage of Elvis singing those lines in particular uh, hits double hard. The news footage, like I said, I think for me at least at the beginning it felt quite jarring in a way certain kind of broadcasters announced his death. The wording they used uh, sometimes kind of took me back a little bit. But there was one who was saying about remembering that day and how Elvis was going to be remembered. And he wasn't wrong. Here we are, 47 years later. 47 years later. That's the end. That's... I just stopped then and double checked my maths. Like, is it, has it been that long? And it really has. But 47 years and for an artist, a person, to be still so revered, so loved, so worshipped, uh, is a testament to the man and his abilities and his craft. There'll never be anyone else like him. Hasn't been since. And I can't see anyone in this day and age ever achieving what Elvis has given us. Going to leave it there. Um, normal service will resume on Sunday. Um, ironically, the 18th of August, which would have been Elvis's funeral, like I said. So another Elvis Sunday coming up in a couple of days. Oddly enough, it's my brother's birthday uh, on a Saturday the 17th. It's, it's, it's odd. Uh, my birthday fell on the 8th of January, Elsie's birthday, and then my brother, his birthday, or at least the, the date, not the year, um, falling the day after Elvis passed away. Um, yeah, I'm just rambling now. Okay, we'll stop there. Um, thank you so much for watching. Uh, have an amazing, beautiful day, and I'll see you in a couple of days. Take care. Bye-bye.